Apostle Paul asks the same basic question in his letter to the Romans. He writes this in Romans 12, 2. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what is God's will, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Here Paul does three things for us. First of all, he tells us that every single one of us is in a battle. Are we going to be conformed or are we going to be transformed? Paul is writing to people who have already embraced Jesus as their Savior and he's saying to them, are you going to be the person that you were before you met Jesus or are you going to join the adventure of actually becoming more like him right here and right now? The second thing that Paul does in this passage is tell us where this battle is taking place. And he says it's happening in the mind. I don't know about you, I've heard people say things like, don't think, just act. But Paul tells us it's the way that we think that is going to ultimately determine how we act. So Paul is saying, you don't need to think less, you need to think more. If, if you really want to live a life of authenticity, it starts in the mind. Third, Paul tells us what we're facing in this battle, and he calls it the world. And basically when Paul talks about the world, he's talking about the age that this world has been living in since the fall. Uh, this age of rebellion in which people have turned their backs on God and decided that they're going to do their own thing. So when Paul talks about the world, that's what he's talking about. When Jesus came, he taught his disciples to pray, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And what Paul says is that this basic battle of whether you're going to be conformed or you're going to be transformed has everything to do with whether you're going to live like the world that is passing away or live in the new kingdom that Jesus Christ has ushered in. Every single day, each one of us faces the same basic choice because we live in a world that markets formulas for happiness. And the question that faces us, are we going to be one more consumer of the ideas that the world gives us? Or are we going to be creators? Are we going to be conformed? Or are we going to be transformed?